What's up guys and welcome back to Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts. Today we are going to be moving on to our third mission here in Beketov Valley and as always we've got five objectives. We want to free the prisoner, eliminate Sasha Nagvan, obtain the hidden camera recordings and to also find evidence of the illegal activities. Now before we hop into this mission I do want to change up our loadout a little bit. There's actually quite a bit of customization in this game so for primary weapon you guys can see we currently have the tactical XCR 700 equipped. I really love having a silent sniper. That has been a lifesaver. But there is another silent sniper, the Su KSV 2020. That looks even better. We're going to have more damage, higher fire rate, better stability, more noise reduction. We're going to lose a little bit of mobility. So I'm, I'm not really too worried about that. I guess range goes down a little bit. But I, I think we're still going to be able to, to handle that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and purchase this. It's going to cost us a, a decent amount of money. Wow, that thing looks ridiculous. That's is a suppressor if I've ever seen one. So we've got that. Our secondary is an AK-47. We can just leave that as is. Our sidearm, we were using the Imp 443, but I switched over here to the Sturm Bodyguard 9. It's also got a suppressor on that, and, and I, I just feel like stealth in this game is, is so important. So we're gonna keep that as is. You guys can see we've got med kits, we've got grenades. You can buy other stuff. Like I was looking, I was looking down here. There's the Dragonfly. Micro unmanned aerial vehicle, so it's a UAV, it's like a little drone. Look around corners or over walls and other obstacles to identify any hidden dangers and spot enemy positions. It's connected to the operator with a digital data link and GPS. I mean, I'm down to try it. Why not? All right. I'm not even sure how to use it, but we're, we're going to go for it. Now, we can also go into development here, and this is just kind of like a, a skill tree or perks or whatever you want to call it. So, we've got uh, masks, we've got suit, we've got... Support and then also there's gadgets. So there's a lot of stuff going on here man marksman stamina region Kevlar armor Harder to detect Dude, this is crazy. I'm gonna buy stamina region. That's super good. I'm gonna buy more sniper ammo as well as some extra armor and some uh, some more pistol ammo that looks pretty good So that's that's solid. I guess seeker would be good make it harder for us to be detected then over here on mask reveal traps Continuous zoom and 36 times magnification night vision mode. Oh shoot. There's all kinds of stuff in here the problem is I don't really know exactly what we need yet, so I don't want to go through all of our money. We've already spent about half of our credits. We started with about 500,000. Ooh, look at this. Melee kills automatically loot. I'm going to get that. That's definitely worth it. I, I feel like we're in a good spot there. I feel like we spent a decent amount. We've got some new abilities. We've got some new new toys and stuff. Let's, um, let's go ahead and hop into this. Greetings, Seeker. Your contract is one Sasha Petroshenko. He is the boss of Siberia's largest criminal syndicate, the Yakutsk clan. They trade in drugs and weapons. And as is common now, they're human traffickers too. Petroshenko was born in Moscow. There he rose from petty street criminal to influential crime boss. It was with Petroshenko's help that Nergui Kurchatov became Moscow's mayor. When Petroshenko was forced to flee the capital, it was Kurchatov, then Siberia's new governor, who allowed him to set up business in the Yakutia region. After the War of Independence, Petroshenko was given protection by the new Siberian government. He is now attempting to gain control of Western Siberia, these territories are run by his rival, Agvan Dorzhev. It won't be easy, as Dorzhev is also backed by the army. In an attempt to avoid all-out war, these two bosses have agreed to a private meeting at Petroshenko's dacha in the Beketov Valley. Inside the property are hidden video recordings that you must obtain. Agvan must also be killed. Then go to his nearby camp and retrieve information about his business operations. It will be useful to our employer. Finally, Petroshenko is preparing to execute a prisoner, his former deputy, Vladimir Romanovich. Free this man, and you will be richly rewarded. Dang, Stay dude. Focused, Seeker. So we're going to crash this party, take them both out, grab all their documents and recordings, and 
save a prisoner while we're at it. This is gonna be kind of a kind of a crazy one, but I'm down for it. Always down for a challenge. Look at this beautiful little valley here, man. Already got enemies all around us, though. Go ahead and tag these guys where we can. Look at these light rays coming through. Another guy over there. This is gorgeous, man. Bummer, there's so many enemies we're gonna have to watch out for, though. Shoot, these guys are coming this way. Let me check our map. Let's see what we've got going on. So, uh, the prisoner's gonna be down here. Uh, Sasha Prochenko's gonna be over here. Dorshiv's gonna be up there. The camera recordings are gonna be there. And then the illegal activities are gonna be over there. Okay. So, I mean, the question is, what do we want to... What do we want to do first? We're going to have to get around these guys either way. This camp is going to have Dorshev and evidence of his illegal activities. So uh, I guess I guess we can we can do that. So that's going to be over here to our pretty much straight left. We're just going to have to find a way around and try to be as sneaky as possible. Oh, shoot, there's more guys here. No way we're going to be able to sneak around that way, dude. This is, this is an issue. Is there another way around? Can we, like, climb a mountain back here or something? Shoot, I think we're going to have to take all these guys out right off the bat. Got him! And you guys can see that auto looting at work. That's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna bring him over here, throw him in the grass. I think, so there's definitely one more guy here. I think there might be more. I thought I heard more people talking, but I guess not. Get him to come over this way. Dude, I love just creeping around in the grass. Like this is honestly pretty sick. Probably a good thing we're taking these guys out too. I mean, we could try to sneak by them, but we take them out now. We don't have to deal with them later. Just right in the jugular. He's down. Got a bunch of rifle bullets and stuff from these guys. I'm going to go hide their bodies back here a little bit farther. All right. Beautiful. Now we've got these two guys to deal with. I feel like there's, yeah, there's a little cliff back here we can try to hop up on. I hear vehicles coming in. Getting a little bit closer here. Look at all these guys. Just gonna tag everybody we can. Tagging the guys in the trucks. I mean, the more of these guys we take out now, the, the less we're gonna have to deal with them later, which is kind of nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> you thought you were slick, Rick. I should have interrogated him. We gotta start interrogating more. If you interrogate, you can, you can actually get locations of enemies and stuff like that. Dude, he thought he was slick. Got a guy taking a nap up there. More of these guys. Dude, the recon in this game is, is the most important part. I see we do have a, a way up over there. Let me take a look at what we're looking at here. So it looks like that's going over towards the other objective. I wanna go over here. We wanna go to our left. We're just kinda slowly examining everything first. That's a sniper. I didn't even think about counter snipers. Dude, there's probably more of those guys along here somewhere. You guys see anything? I don't see anything. I guess we should probably take him out, right? 140 meters. Got him. Let's go, baby. So this, like we said, this sniper does have a little bit of reduced range, but I feel like we're probably going to be okay. Oof. That was an aggressive shot to take with these guys literally right here. Hello. Beautiful, 117 meters, so I'm gonna back this down. Probably put it at about 100. He's down. 
looking at this this mountain right here i don't know we're gonna have to go all the way down there to be able to get around it like i'm i'm looking here i would like to go do this first we could fast travel over here to be able to get there yeah let's let's do that i'm gonna fast travel makes sense these maps are huge it kind of takes a while to to move your way around them so we're gonna fast travel we're gonna see see what we've got going on here got that guy this looks like a prime area to have some snipers up in the woods and stuff. This is definitely a different uh, different dynamic than what we've been dealing with. Got guys over here. More guys over there. Looking for snipers. Dude, this is intense. I like the fast travel, but it also scares me a little bit because we're now in a new area that we have no clue what's going on. I'm going to start sneaking this way. That is the camp that we need to get into. And it looks like there's a backside entrance over here to the left. So that's, I think that's gonna be our, our entry point. I think that's gonna be our smartest, our smartest move. Got that guy next to the turrets. Dude, we could have snipers in here literally anywhere. This is so scary. We've got a lot of turrets on this side might be a bit of an issue. See more guys inside. Huh. Gotta keep our eyes peeled. Dude, they could be in any bush. They could be up on any mountain. They could be literally anywhere. It's kind of a tip. Like, I, I really like it. It gets pretty crazy. Here we go. Let's go. Let's just go for it. There's got to be a backside entrance over here. Feel like a traditional sniper would probably take a little bit more time on his way. But we ain't got time for that, baby. So we've got a guy up there. I feel like if we shoot him, that's going to be bad news. If we shoot him, that's going to be bad news. Yeah, I think I think stealth might be our our answer right now. Please tell me we can crawl through the sewage pipe over here, bro. This would be so dope. Looks like we're gonna be able to. I suppose Gulag prisoners once worked here. Yes, they chained them to their tools. Wheelbarrows, pickaxes, spades, permanently attached to them. Tempted to see what's going on in here. Looks like we've got some ammo. Got a couple of sniper bullets. Whoa, 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 who's seeing us? That guy's seeing us right there. All right. I'm gonna get our s silenced pistol out. My goodness, that absolutely scared me, and it was literally perfect timing. I was gonna hide him in there, but I don't think that's necessary. We'll throw him down right here. Whew. I pulled the pistol out right as that dude came around the corner. Okay, so our objectives in here, like we said, we wanted to uh, eliminate Agvan, as well as obtain the info about the illegal activities. So we've got to we've got to find where this guy is. We honestly probably could have gone up on the mountaintops if we can find a way up there. Looking down and locating him would have been clutch, but I think we're just gonna have to work with what we have here. We could get up top there. Height is always a major advantage in these games, so... Gonna see if we can... If we can get it. Might as well tag it. Oh, shoot. Guy just walked across right there. Gonna tag him for the time being. I feel like we have to be on the verge of of finding something here. This this looks like an area that we want. Is that him? Nope. Dude in a suit, I thought it might be him. Can we go in any of these doors? No, those are not accessible. 
I've got a feeling the building with the giant juggernaut out front is the one that we want to get into, so we'll see. I don't know. Is somebody getting tortured right now, or where's that electric sound coming from? I feel like I'm being compelled towards it, like a fly or something. I was going to say we can probably jump up there. But I don't think that would be a good idea. I think that's going to be our way up, but we got to make sure we clear it first. Is there anybody else up there? There's two guys. Dude, I think I might... Oh, shoot, he's leaving. Time to go... He's going back to the front. He's going back to talk to that juggernaut. Bro, can I not get up here? Oh, I gotta jump right here. Makes sense. <gasps> Hide this guy's body back here. Gonna try to loot him. I feel like it didn't really work out to plan. He's down. I feel like he's really important, but I don't... I don't think he's who we're looking for. It says this door is locked, but I don't, I don't think there's anything in there that we would want anyway. Who is this? I have eyes on That's him? You know what to do. Can they see him right there? I don't think they can see him. Are you kidding me? Dorjiev's dead. I am sure he will be warmly welcomed in the underworld he's heading to. Let's go, dude. We found I knew there had to be somebody near the big As always, I'll wait for an update from the exfiltration location. The big guy. He's down. Trying to make sure we don't alert this dude. I'm good. I'm out of here. Okay. So we took him out. Now we need to find the recordings though. We need to obtain the, uh, or the, the legal, the evidence of the illegal activities is what we need to find. I would imagine, hold on. Is that by chance, is it where he was working? Like it looked like he was looking at something. Is it on this computer in here? I didn't know you could hide in filing cabinets or whatever this thing is, little closets. That's kind of cool. I was thinking it might be a filing cabinet, not in his suitcase. Hmm, or... It said this door was locked. Is it in here? We can open this. Is this... Hmm. It's got sniper ammo and stuff for us, but I don't see... I don't see any evidence. Oh, just kidding. It's right here. In the annual reports. I presume they contain everything you need. Thank you, Seeker. All right, not too bad. So now marked on your map. We actually knocked out that, that first couple of objectives pretty quickly. Now we've got to see where we want to go, though. So we've, we've kind of wrapped that up. I guess we could fast travel. We could fast travel back here. It's locked during alarm slash X. Oh, shoot. We've got to go X fill. So we've got to get back here. We've got to get out of here on our own. But we already kind of know which direction we want to go. We already came through here. We're just going to be able to go back the exact same way we came in. And um, we're going to be able to move on to our next objectives. Dude, that was that was pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we I feel like we did pretty well there. Okay. Having an issue getting up top. There we go. So we're going to be able to move out. I'm not going to kill any guys that we don't necessarily have to. We're going to have to kill this guy, though. 36 meters. He's down. Keep going. We could hide it. Ah, we should probably hide his body. Last thing we want is somebody on this guy's side to alert the other guy's side. You know what I mean? I do feel bad, though, because it's going to be late for the meeting, unfortunately. Hopefully, the uh, the other officer is going to be willing to wait because I think he's, uh, he's going to be indefinitely late. So 
Go ahead and move down here. I guess we could tag him for the heck of it, but we don't really need to. Just gonna drop down and we can get the heck out of here. Dude, that was literally the perfect entrance. The perfect plan. Like, everything went exactly as we wanted it to. And now we're gonna be able to go back over to that exfil point. The question is, do we think we can sneak across in front? Me. I'm gonna use this. Check for any security cameras or anything. I don't think there are any. I think we're good. And I do believe we made it. That's a uh, that's a job well done, baby. Establish that connection. That's two out of our five objectives complete. That is what you love to see. <laughs>